What is going on you guys? I'm James James Jeptiles and in today's video we're going to be talking about how I incubate my eggs and I only have two species right now so we're going to look at both of those and I will keep you guys updated you know if I get snake eggs or if I get different gecko eggs of any kind I'll let you guys know. So first let's start with the crested geckos and the gargoyles because that's the easiest. Now right here you'll see my gargoyles and my crested gecko eggs they are at room temperature uh, which is between 72 and 78 most days. Uh, right up top, we have my two gargoyle eggs. Should be hatching any day. Possibly lily white eggs. A bunch of other eggs. Might be going a little bit bad. Good eggs. Good eggs. So, these just chill here at room temperature. Most people will agree that that's how they should be kept. Um, and, you know, that's fine. It works just great. So, Let's move on to the leopard gecko eggs. So they are this number three right here. I have it to 82.5. This incubator is for females. Um, if So females are 82. They are, they, well, let me restart. Leopard geckos are sex determined by the incubation temperature. So same with fat tails. So if you want females, you incubate at 82. If you want males, you incubate at 88. And if you want a mix, you incubate at 85. Now, I do 82.5 uh, just in case it fluctuates a little bit, which it shouldn't because, you know, it's summer. But you never know if you have those off days where it gets really cold. So this is the female incubator. So far, I want to make all females. Um, and I'll show you guys how I go about my eggs. So these ones, if, uh, if you have the project is 0%, what that tells me is I want 0% of the eggs to be male. So I'll make them all female. So I write the project number, 1B. The date above the clutch, is it good? Is it good? Two good ones, right? Those relate today. Same with this one. You know, 0%, which means I want all females. And then just like that. Now, if I want males, what I do is I put a sticky note on it. And so everything's the same underneath, except you can see the percent is 20%. So what I'll do is I'll write down the eggs here and I'll total it up to the side. So at the end of the season, you know, I'll make sure I'll make so, so many females and so many males and I'll calculate it out. So if I want 20% to be males, that's one in five. So if I have, you know, 10, 10 good eggs and they're all female, I'll just make the next two male. Same thing with this project. I think this project's at like 15%. Yep. There's not a total, there's not a lot of total science behind that. Uh, it just depends if I want to make males, if I think I can hit better odds or darker males for my own projects, I'll give it a some percent and, you know, try to hit a male. Or if it's a project where I'm looking for, uh, or I'm trying to hit, you know, the, like the Super Snow Black Knights and all that, I'm pretty sure it's like a really high odd one. Uh, because if I can hit that male, I can produce a lot more visual animals the next year, which in turn would equal a lot more return on my investment. So those projects have a lot higher male to female ratios. So that's it for today. That's how I incubate all my eggs. And, you know, I will be setting up another incubator very soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'm James James Jeff Tiles. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that definitely helps out the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.